one. Today I'm gonna show you how I implemented SvelteKit with better out library and mongodb as our database so let's go i created this sample app styled a little bit and add some few extra steps to demonstrate how i implemented this solution with authentication so let's first sign up with regular email and password so i added some error handling to get these nice warnings and success toasts As you saw, there was four toasts for us to congrats on our registration based on this query. Now let's log out and let's try with Google authentication. And that's it. We just created account with Google. As you saw already, if I log out, it automatically uh, directs me to out page. And if we, for example, try to fetch some document, now I'll show you how it will look like if we don't have an access. Let's go to the database. So where is our session? Session is here. We can delete that. Let's go back. And once we hit get document, the app will automatically unauthorize us and force us back to out page. And if we try to go back manually, to our dashboard again redirect us to our out page so you must be wondering how i exactly did this so let's go to the our code base so here are some logs from our registration so the obvious first step we need to do is to install better out module i already have that i will not install it so once we have installed it we, we can go to our source and lib folder and create two folders client and server on the server we will create out server it looks like this so we import better out library and their adapter for mongodb we will create our database connection via mongoose and get our native client for better out because it manages directly with native driver of mongodb so the next thing we have is some um, environment variables so for better out configuration we basically need these three ba database email and password and social providers and this time i chose only google but they have many more you can check out their docs and these both are very optional options so next thing we need to do is to create our connection to database i did this via mongoose because i will use mongoose to manage my database via this app so first we need to make a connection if you have one we cache it to not connect every time we need the database and um, here we export our native client for the better out if you remember we have it here i just want to mention that i will not uh, write any code because i already built that project you can just pause the video if you need some uh, code to write down and uh, you can follow along this way next thing we need to do is to create a client out file and this is really simple we just need to import create out client from betterout.svelte and export default and that's it you will see some random files like this toast or component folder and other folders but and files but uh, i created this just because of this project and this is not related to authentication and that's the or focus on this video now if you don't have a hook server js file then create one and here we we should import our out from out server and the svelte kit handler from better out svelte kit module of course we can import our database to make initial connection to database and we will and also we will import json to return json responses so and this is how i handle user authorization in my handle file i first get the session then i check if we have the session then i set the locals if we don't have a session we delete the locals and this is where i protect endpoints that are meant only for authorized users and this is for admins only and we should return a better out svelte kit handler here to handle our requests from the client side and this is some custom error handling 
And basically from server side, that's it almost. One thing I like to do, I like to group my routes so I can apply different kinds of uh, layout files. And for our app, I use layout server file to check if we have user or session. If we don't, we redirect to authentication page. If we have, we return a user. And I want to show you something. Let's start the server real quick. And if we try to access some route that is in scope of this layout file, for example, let's try dashboard. You can see it redirects back to out. And this layout file will basically not let any unauthorized users to browse these routes. And in, in my opinion, this is the most efficient way because in here in Svelte hooks, and we are already protecting our endpoints here. Uh, these are the endpoints where, we'll, where we will most likely manipulate any database data. So the next thing I want to show you how I handle reactivity in this app. So if you log in with Google, as you earlier saw, if we click on sign out, it will redirect us back to out page. So if you get back and try to fetch some document, it will return our document. And this is basically where all the magic starts. So let's get back to our code base and let's head to app and layout. So ignore all this. This is only for the app and this is everything out related. So basically what we do here, we import this out client what we made here so we import it in our layout file and let's call use session and this out clients function has session that has nano stores in them and in our effect function that is well this uh, five one of the runes so we are watching for session store data id user id if it's not set or it's null or it's undefined and we are not pending or refetching, we are redirecting them to out route. And if we go back to our documents route and page file, so you can see that we again use session because it's a global store, it's available on the whole app, so we can access that, but that its data is always stale. We need to refetch it to in order to get new data. So if we try to access any of our protected endpoints and we are not logged in, so it will it will check for a response if it's not okay. We check for a status if the status is uh, with with the status code of unauthorized yeah, or 401. Then we show a toast and then we call from use session store. We call function refetch, which will trigger refetching a fresh data. And if we indeed are unauthorized, it will trigger this effect in our layout file. And besides that, this uh, refetch function will also clean or any previous cookies. So let's have a look. So for now we can uh, fetch data as many as we want. We can fetch it because we are authorized. So now let's try to delete our cookie. And let's try to fetch the document. It said unauthorized check-in session. And again, if we try to access our dashboard directly, it will redirect again us to our out path. Okay, and now let's try a different scenario. Okay, let's log in back. I will use Google to make it faster. And let's check different kind of scenario where, where we as admins might delete the, the session of our user. We still have our old session, but that's okay. Let's delete both. So this user currently don't have a session in our database, but we still have a cookie. Let's see what happens if we try to get a document from protected route as expected. And as you saw, we again were forced to our authorization route. And if we try to access it again directly, it doesn't let us because of this file. Another thing I want to show you what happens if we need some kind of server side rendering and we need the page.js file. Since this file runs both on client and server side, we don't have any unified ways to, to check our user on the client side or check our user on server side. We can check it on server side if we add server here and work this purely on the server. But if we want to use this page.js file and use it on both sides, then we can do this like I did. Th there is a basic fetch again, 
like in our previous route and we check we basically do the same check we did there but what we do here differently is that we return object of unauthorized true so, and what this allows us to do is to check whether or not that has this key of unauthorized and if it's true we can again use session and refresh the data to update user state on client side now in our browser if we open dev tools and check the console we can see on prefetch what it does it did fetch the document successfully and if we open it it will it is already prefetched and pre-rendered for us and if we do a refresh it does the same thing and if we go back and let's delete our sessions so if we now hover over that link it already showed us that we are not authorized and if we try to visit that link it will force us to out route again so if you want this whole project you can get it on my website link will be in the description uh, it will be for a small fee but it's a way how to support me and motivate me more to make videos like this also everything uh, that i showed out related can be written down you can just pause the video and write it down and you don't have to download the whole project but if you want to and you want to support me you can visit my website link is in description and support me how you can i hope this was useful for you and i hope to see you on my next video bye